Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to review Dutch fishmen. Here these guys do some really good fish and chips, but also a good chicken burger. So looking to try the food here. There may be quite a lot of cut cut in the video. Many apologies. It's very cold, very windy, but it's dry. It's dry, so we should be able to get a good video. Let's go there now. Let's check the menu out. Let's order what I think are probably their best items. So if you come in there, you know exactly what to get. Okay, so had a look at the menu. They do have seating upstairs, but it looks kind of busy, kind of cramped. So I thought I'd sit outside in the blistering cold, but I've ordered some fish and chips, uh, the chicken burger, and also the fish burger. I hear the fish burger is really nice. So I think I've got a good variety of food. It is cold though, not gonna lie. So I think I need some nice hot food to warm me up. Okay guys, food is here. I'm gonna brave the cold. You know, alhamdulillah, it's not too bad. So let me show you what we actually have today. So we have some cod bites and chips. I did ask for fish and chips, that may have been a mistake, but they look good, these look good. And then we've got a fish burger and then we've got a chicken burger as well. So we've got a few different bits and bobs. Overall, liking the look of everything, I think what I'll do is I'll probably go for one of the burgers first. You guys are telling me the burgers are good. Had a chat with the chap inside. He also said the burgers were good, so expecting, sorry, it's windy, so I'm trying to like catch everything before it flies away. <laughs> um, so I hear the burgers are good, so let's try them first. We're gonna try the fish burger first. One second, I like the look of it. I think it's really reasonably priced. I think this was like 350 on its own. Big chunky piece of fish in there. This is flying all over the place. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this Pepsi on top of it. That should anchor it down. But I think price-wise, I think it's priced well. If it tastes good, they've got some tartar sauce, I believe, and actually some chili in there as well. I wasn't expecting the chili, but I do like chili. There's a lovely crunch to that batter. The fish, which is cod. Sorry, I've got sauce all over me. <laughs> lovely crunch to the batter. It's really pleasant on the bite. Fish itself, the cod is quite flaky. I like the chili. It's not overpowering. I was a little bit worried about I'm chilling in a fish burger, but it's not overpowering, it's actually quite nice. The cheese itself, they actually give you a full slice, unlike going to McDonald's where you get like half a slice of cheese. That's a really, really tasty fish burger. Definitely one of the better ones that I've had. Honestly, cannot fault that. Really can't fault that. I would eat that again for sure. I do think the bun should be a little bit warmer, but I think it's cold outside, so I think it's gotten cold because I've sat outside. I think inside it would have been perfect. I think what we'll do is now move on to the chips and the cod bites. Because uh, they do look good. I think that's a decent portion. Pricing is, is good actually as well. Uh, I think there could be a few more chips though. You know, when you're pricing, you need to look at, you know, how much food you have, the quality of the food you have, the quality of the ingredients, the skill it takes to make it. It's kind of like a big mishmash of lots of different factors. It's not just about quantity. But I do think looking at it, could be a few more chips, but uh, do like the little touches, like red salt. I've not had that in a chippy before. To be fair, the chips are very good. Really good potato content, really crispy. The red salt is a really good addition. I'm not sure if they do like larger portions or something. I would just buy two. That's a really, really good chip. I enjoy that a lot. I enjoy that a lot. But uh, let's move on to these cod bites. Usually I prefer haddock, but I do enjoy the cod here. Actually, I think the cod is nice. I think 99% of people prefer cod. I mean, 99% of people prefer cod over haddock. I'm definitely in that 1%, but I think if you're looking for a good, like a little meal, like cod bites, chips, a little bit of tartar sauce, which probably isn't the best tartar sauce I've had, but it's perfectly serviceable. I think you guys will enjoy that. Good little portion there as well. What we're gonna do now is move on to the chicken burger. I didn't know what to think of the chicken burger, but a lot of you say it's nice. The chaps here say it's nice as well, so try that next. Visually, I think it looks all right. This is uh, 3 50 I think you can double up and get a meal for 5 50 If you have a proper little look at it, it does look a little bit thin, so I think a doubling up is good. I think I think it's 6 50 to double up on your fillet and you get chips, which is in line with everywhere else. But what's good about here is you'd get chippy chips rather than like takeaway chips, which let's keep it real, it's a massive upgrade, really. It's a massive upgrade, so I think that's good. Guys, that is perfectly serviceable. Nothing wrong with that at all. I definitely, if I was coming here, I would double up, uh, for sure. Definitely make sure you double up. I like the chili sauce in that, for sure. I like that it comes with chippy chips. If I was nearby and I fancied like a quick, I think relatively cheap lunch, I wouldn't scoff at that. I think that's a pretty decent chicken burger if you double up. Overall, I do like the variety in the menu. You've got fried chicken, you've got like wings. You've obviously got the chicken burger that I've just showed you. You've got some grilled stuff like grilled prawns as well. So 
something slightly healthier, grilled beef burgers. You've obviously got fish and chips. They actually do a potato tree as well, which I love potato trees. And I had them in Korea, really, really good. So I do like the diversity in the menu. Overall thoughts, really, yeah, enjoyed that place. Uh, they do have seating upstairs, so do check that out. I couldn't really sit there because it was so busy and I might be a little bit loud and I don't want to ruin people's dining experience. But uh, yeah, definitely a decent place. When it comes to fish and chips, if you're nearby, I would sort of happily eat the cod bites. I didn't get to eat the fish and chips. I ordered that, cod bites came out. And by the time it came out, it was cold. I just, I just cracked on. So in fairness, I didn't even bring it up to the chaps there. So they very well could have rectified that mistake, but I just didn't personally bring it up because I was being lazy. <laughs> but I enjoyed the cod bites, I enjoyed them. I think what I would get if I was going back is the fish burger. I really enjoyed the fish burger. The chicken burger was definitely decent, serviceable. The chips were decent as well. If it was coming to your fish and chips, I think the best place I've still been to is probably Mother Hubbard's. I really enjoyed them. And they're opening a branch in Salford, which isn't too far from here, the branch that they're opening. So I'd probably veer towards there, but I really enjoyed the fish burger here. That was was awesome. That was really, really good. But so anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed that video. If you do want to check out the Mother Hubbard's review, just click here. And if you want to check out another playlist with some of my favorite videos, make sure you click here. But I'll see you guys in that next video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Bye, 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 bye.